Hello YouTube, this is the second video in our HTML5 Canvas Basics tutorial series. In this video I'll be teaching you the basics of defining a canvas context and drawing a rectangle. So we'll get started with a new uh, document. We're going to be using Notepad++ as our text editor. And we're going to be using localhost. You don't need to use localhost, you can use a web server or simply save an HTML file to your desktop. But open up a new file in your text editor of choice, save an HTML file to wherever you want, and give it a name, my first canvas. So now we have an HTML document. I'm going to define HTML tags and head and body tags. And we will create a canvas element. Okay. As well as a title tag. That will be my first canvas and a script tag. Um, we'll give our canvas width and height print width and height parameters. And an ID. Width and height parameters are required, but an ID parameter is not. Or attribute, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying parameters. Um, we'll give it an ID canvas. A width of 800 and a height of 600, which is a pretty standard game size for those of you wondering why I picked those numbers. And then inside of our JavaScript tag, we, oh, one second, I need to define a doc type. Don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, and save that. Okay, inside of our JavaScript, we are going to um, define two variables. The first will be a canvas variable, which will store the canvas element. And the second will be a context variable, which I explained what it would do in the last tutorial. It will inherit uh, methods that allow us to draw to the canvas. So when the document has loaded, we will give canvas a value. Oh, sorry. Canvas. And we will get a context. Get context is a built in method or a default method. Uh, that all browsers that support Canvas supply. So we'll get a 2D context as we are not sure if our browser supports 3D or not. Um, and we will log out a statement that says the document has loaded. Give that a run here. Uh, and in our developer panel we see that it has logged the canvas has loaded so now that um, it has we have that part we have access to all these methods that the canvas object or the C object has available now um, we can start by drawing a rectangle uh, using the rect method and we will give it an x and a y value and a width and a height
So again, the four parameters are x, y of the top left corner, and then the width of the rectangle and the height of the rectangle. Now if we run that, we don't get anything because we didn't set a fill style. So in Canvas, you have to either fill or stroke your elements to make them visible, or shapes rather, um, with a color. So to tell Canvas what color to do that with, we have to say c.fillStyle. This is a variable, um, a class variable, that has a value of either a hex color or an RGB or RGBA color. So we'll just do RGB 0, 0, 0. And we also have to call our fill method. So if we want to fill our shape with black, we have to set the color to black. And we have to say fill. So now if we run this we get a black square that is 800 pixels by 600 pixels. And I'm going to do one more thing before I finish up this tutorial. Style body margin zero so that we don't get that like eight pixel line around our document. Perfect. All right, as you can see, we have a black square. We can mess with that a little bit. As you can see, it resizes, and we can change the x and y value. And I, there you go. We have our first canvas drawing. That's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we will be drawing with lines and creating paths. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.